Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa. Also keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. What's the overall energy between Sagittarius and the person Sagittarius is connecting with or will be connecting with? Why is everybody coming back to everybody today? We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. We also have calling your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together along with express your love. I like this. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture here. And then we have, yeah, go after it then. That's what I'm going to say. Go after it then. Whoever this is, they're trying to like, either you're doing it, Sag, or the person that you're connecting with is doing it. However, it resonates, right? Somebody wants to come back together with someone here right and i feel like they're trying to pull on this person energetically speaking right i kind of feel like this person's just standing still calling someone in energetically speaking but in my mind i'm just like then just go after it then because clearly i don't think that that's working that's what i'm saying like i feel like someone could very well be let's just go ahead and say it's you so i don't confuse myself uh let's go ahead and say that this person's calling you in energetically speaking and they're just standing still like they're at home laying in bed Saying, Sagittarius, come to me. Come to me. Come to me. I want this. I want to come back together with you. Right? But it's like, and I feel like you feel it, right? Because you're very intuitive, Sag. Um, I feel like you feel it, but you're just like, yeah, no, I'm not going to, right? It's like, if you want me, then, then, then come and get me. You know what I'm saying? And then come and get me. And I feel like this person's starting to kind of realize, you know what? If I really do want Sag, I'm just going to have to go and get Sag. It's one of those vibes. If I really want this relationship, if I really want to give this relationship a chance, I'm just going to have to, you know, do something about it, right? And take action. So I do like that because this whole pulling on people energetically speaking, like, come to me, come to me. It's like, no, go get it. You know what I'm saying? So it could be you, Sag, doing this. Nothing wrong with that. It's all been there, done that. But if you want it, go get it. Right? All right, let's see. How does Sagittarius currently view this relationship? Okay, so we have the Two of Cups here, Cancer with the world. So Leo, Aqua, Taurus, also Scorpio. And then we got the Seven of Swords, Aquarian energy at the bottom of the deck. We do have the Ten of Swords here. So Gemini energy. In reference to how you're currently viewing this relationship, clearly something came to an end between you and this person here. Um... Because there was a lot of back and forth, right? It's like one minute you felt like this person really wanted this connection. The next minute you felt like they didn't. And there was just a lot of head games being played here anyways. So I kind of feel like you're choosing to really close this cycle out. You're not trying to play this game with this person. How does this person currently view this relationship with Sagittarius? Yeah. We got the Nine of Cups here, Pisces with the Six of Swords, Aquarian Energy with the Three of Cups, Cancer here at the bottom of the deck. Make it happen then. Make it happen then. Right? They go from trying to call you in energetically, right, Sag? With this Empress to the Three of Wands, regardless of your gender, of course, here. They're trying to call you in energetically, just standing still. Like, come to me, Sag. Come back to me. Come back to me. And I feel like you feel it, but you're just like, I know. <laughs> you're like no i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna come back to you right and again it's like they're like doing this like man should i just wait like should i wait for them to come to me or like what should i do what should i do you know what i'm just gonna go and do it you know i'm just gonna reach out i'm just gonna say something right if i if, again it's like i feel like this person is trying to manifest you back into their life here right but again it's like this person, it's like they're trying to manifest you, right, by calling you in energetically speaking, but it's not working. So this person has no other choice but to just kind of extend themselves to you if they really want to make this happen, right? And again, that's that's ultimately what this person wants, right? They want to come back together with you. That is their, their wish fulfillment, essentially, is to come back together with you. That's what they want. But again, if you want it, then go get it. If you want to make it happen, then make it happen, right? They have all the tools necessary to pull this off. If they want to come back together with you, they just need to say it, you know, instead of waiting on you. How does Sagittarius feel about this relationship? 
Yeah, you're definitely withholding communication from this person here. I don't see you extending yourself to this person. I feel like you want to, especially with the high priestess and the hermit being here. Like, you really do want to talk to this person. You do want to reach out to this person, but I feel like you're choosing to kind of keep it to yourself, how you feel about this person, what it is that you want to say to this person. I feel like you want to kind of keep it to yourself here uh, when it comes down um, to this person here because I kind of feel like there's a motive here, right? It's like... You want this person to show you that they're serious about you, especially with justice being here. You want them to show you that they're serious about you. Remember, you showed up as the empress. Now they're showing up as the emperor here, again, regardless of gender here. So it's a true pair situation here. Again, it's like if this person's serious about me, they'll come and get me, right? They'll come and get me. They'll make it happen. I like you, Sag. <laughs> I like your attitude. I do. Um, how does this person feel about this relationship with Sagittarius? I really do. I like your attitude. I do. Okay. We have temperance here. We're dealing with a Sag. We've got the Queen of Wands, Aries, with justice here. This person wants to bring balance into the situation here, and they do want to show you that they are serious about you here. It's kind of like you could be dealing with a Cancer because Cancer had the same combo. Like, you're the chosen one. You're the chosen one. This person doesn't want anybody else but you. All they see is you. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's them trying to build up the strength and the courage, to be quite honest. Trying to build up the strength and the courage after things kind of fell apart between you and them. They're trying to build up the strength and the courage to approach you, right? Um, and they're trying to figure out what's the best approach. Just do it. <laughs> you know, it's not that complicated, right? But again, it's like they don't see anyone else but you, right? And they want to bring balance into the situation. And they want to show you that they're very serious about you. And they do want a passion in the beginning with you. But again, in your mind, it's like, great, then show me. Because I kind of feel like what this person has showed you thus far is inconsistency. Because that's how you're looking at them in the situation with them. It's like, at times you felt like this person really wanted it. And then at times you felt like they didn't. So you're just like, okay, I can't do this. It's either you're with me or you're not, right? And because this person was showing you a lot of inconsistency, you just decided, well, that's it. It's not going to work out then. But deep down inside, you do want to communicate with this person. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Ouch, I just stabbed myself. Yeah. It's like you do want to talk to this person, right? Because I kind of feel like there was some sort of conflict here between you and this person that transpired here and possibly what sparked this, this ending right? But there's just a lot of confusion here, right? And I feel like that's what you want to talk, you want to talk to this person about. You kind of feel like this person sent you mixed signals to begin with here and it got really frustrating on your end and that's why you decided to kind of retreat from this person. It's like you kind of want to tell this person why you retreated in the first place, but again, it's like what difference is that going to make? And I kind of feel like that's how you're looking at it. Like what difference is it going to make? They were inconsistent with me. And you're just taking it for what it is. I guess they just didn't want it bad enough, right? And that's how you're looking at it. Um, and again, I kind of feel like this is you wanting to clear the air with this person, wanting to address how you feel and how this person made you feel. But again, it's like, what difference is it going to make? It's over. It's over. And, and for some of you, you feel like... It, Having a conversation with this person is really not going to get you anywhere anyways. So a lot of you feel that way too. What actions will Sag take towards this person? I'm moving forward. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords here with the Ace of Swords here. And then we got the Ten of Pentacles. So Gemini, um, Aquarius, also Libra and Virgo energy here. How does this person, I mean, what actions will this person take towards Sag or moving forward? We have the Four of Swords here with the Queen of Cups here, and then we got the King of Pentacles here again. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer because Cancer got the same combo. Um, it doesn't have to be. They could have it within their chart here where uh, I kind of feel like 
in reference to what actions you'll take towards this person, I do see communication happening here. I do see them extending themselves to you, which we did see that. Um, I kind of feel like um, you need to really figure it out, right? As far as if this is something that you want to kind of do, because I do feel like they're still extending themselves. Like in their, in their mind, you're the only one that they see, right? Um, you're the only one that they want here. And they're really reflecting on this relationship and this connection with you. I do feel like this person has a lot of love for you. And I do feel like this person wants to show you that they're serious about you and that you're the only one for them here, right? But you're having a hard time believing it. You're having a hard time believing it. And that's that's why you're showing up as the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords. You're having a hard time um, believing this person and whatever it is that this person's telling you. Because again, it's like... A part of them was showing you that they wanted it and a part of you wasn't. So it's kind of hard for you to take this person seriously now. Even though they're trying to show you that they do want something serious, you're just having a hard time taking them seriously. Because I feel like this person is telling you that they do want this with you, but you don't believe them. You don't believe them. I don't know about the four swords. Okay, let me get the card that fell. Be right back. Okay. Yeah. We have the Five of Swords here with the Two of Wands here. This person, they, they want to heal the situation with you. This conflict, this misunderstanding here, they really want to address it. They really want to heal the situation. Again, they're, they're definitely looking at you as if you are their true pair here. And they kind of feel like they lost you. To be quite honest, they feel like they lost you. They feel like they lost this relationship. And again, I will say that the feeling is definitely mutual. Where I feel like both, like the both of you, still love and care about each other here. And I don't feel like this person wanted to lose this relationship. But again, the way that they were approaching the situation with you just caused you to not want to even be involved with this person. Which I don't blame you here. But this person is is making steps in your direction towards addressing these issues healing these issues to kind of get the two of you back on the same page here because they want you back uh in their life here they do they want you back in their life you just don't you just don't believe them you don't believe them you don't believe what they're saying you don't believe it so then there's that but it all depends on you i mean I feel like this person is taking steps in your direction to try to fix things with you, but you're having a hard time believing the fact that the two of you can't obtain this Ten of Pentacles now because I kind of feel like they, they messed up the moment that they started, you know, showing you that inconsistency. Yeah. We have new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Any advice for set? Okay, we got three. Okay, so we have pay attention to the red flags and signs are cautioning you. We have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take along with getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is what's stopping you, right? Those red flags, right? Why were you inconsistent with me? Things of that nature, right? And again, that's what caused you to kind of close this cycle out to begin with because they were being very inconsistent, right? And you're hung up on that. Well, why were you inconsistent with me, right? And it's hard for you to honestly even believe this person at this point, right? Because they are trying to make the effort, which we do see that. They are trying to make the effort to come back into your life, Sag. But it's like you're having a hard time believing this person and again i feel like this person's really coming in and again you're on the receiving end of all of this so you're you're hearing from them right and here they come in trying to heal and address these issues that the two of you are currently being faced with in hopes that the two of you can eventually come back together here but you're having a hard time being on the same page as them because you can't stop thinking about how inconsistent they were with you and why were they like that why did they behave that way right and you want answers you want answers you want answers and i feel like these i feel like they have those answers i feel like they have those answers you want answers as to why they were consistent inconsistent uh with you here and again i do see them taking steps towards addressing those issues um 
with you and hopefully that'll help you be able to kind of make a decision whether or not you do want to still have this ten of pentacles with this person here but again there is a new beginning here that's happening here where the two of you can totally move forward here but i just kind of feel like this person really needs to kind of take this relationship with you seriously this time around because if they don't i don't see you having any sort of problems with closing this cycle out all over again if you have to right so hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with and i will see you guys in your next reading bye